Please record there. And um, since we're looking at the two essays, we were trying to compare what each one says. I thought I would bring up some of this um, stuff that we have talked about in class in, in a different semester because we don't have a board anymore. We can't like write it down. Um, oops. So let me see. Let me share this with you guys so you can actually see it. Okay, um, and this piece right here is one idea that um, they're both kind of talking about happiness, if you think about it. In one, um, Gallagher finds that she thinks people would be happier in marriage. Um, in the other one, Catron thinks people can find happiness um, unmarried, in an unmarried way. Um, so if you were deciding to do, say, happiness, is that your, if that's your thing you want to talk about, then when you're creating that body paragraph, you would have a topic sentence that talks about happiness. And in there, you would be talking about um, people's, or Catron's perspective on, say, being single and happy, compared to Gallagher's perspective on being married and being happy. Um, and then in the paragraph, let's say you, you started with Coutron, because that's the first one you talked about. Um, you would want to explain what she's, you know, her, her claim. You want to know what her claim is. Um, and then you would want to know what examples did she provide to prove what she's saying. Um, and you'd like a quote. So you would like a quote from the text that you can sort of explain um, and use. And then you want to sort of expand what you think that's saying um, and why she sees the advantage that way. And then you're going to finish, you finished with her. And now, because you were comparing married and unmarried, you have the second half of the paragraph. So when you finish with that first part, you have to have transition word like in contrast. Um, and with that, then you can start um, in contrast. On the other hand, Gallagher believed that um, people are happier in marriages um, and provide her claim. That's her, her reasons. Um, provide her examples. You do want some quotes, a couple of quotes um, to see why she believes that. Um, and then at the end of this paragraph, you sort of want a closing um, sentence that's, that reminds people that, um, uh, you know, everyone has different viewpoints on um, if marriage provides happiness or if you need to be a happy person yourself and then bring your, your happy person, being a happy person, into the marriage. And in that way, the marriage doesn't create happiness. You were happy when you got there. The marriage just adds to your life. That would be Catron's position. And Gallagher's position is that, well, when you're married, um, you've got, you know, uh, a complete sort of um, outline of how you live. She seems to be happy with that. And it gives her a lot of happiness to know she's got a husband, maybe children, um, and that she fits the um, ideal and the stereotype that society says you should be. Um, but actually, neither one is correct. It depends on a person's lifestyle and on their choices. So that's what a body paragraph kind of looks like. It's a split thing, and you want to remember that. Um, the other thing is to look at um, maybe Catron, because she's the tricky one. She's the one that's a little hard to find what she's talking about. So, um, and Cameron, I'm kind of talking to you, the points that she was making. Um, so she's talking about um, this idea of, of her first, her first idea there is um, that when you, <clears throat> that when you get married, your, um, your connections with your family becomes limited. And in that way, <clears throat> your world becomes smaller and your um, you can be lonely. Um, because all you have is your partner, your husband or your wife. Um, so your family, your neighbors and your friends, you just don't spend time with. 
Um, and after a while, that social interaction that you used to have kind of goes away and it just gets, your world gets smaller. It's just you and your, your partner, husband or wife. Um, and so she feels like that limiting um, her social connections would make you more lonely. Now, Gallagher has a different viewpoint, but I'm just going over Catron's. Um, she also talks about that when you're married and in a relationship, um, what happens is people believe that you should be self-sufficient. Oh, you're married, you know, your wife is supposed to take care of whatever issues you have or your husband should take care of those issues. Um, and in that way, um, you don't ask your family or your friends for help anymore. And um, they don't expect they'd have to give you help. If you ask them for something, then they're feeling like, well, wait a minute, you've got your husband, you've got your wife, you should, they should be helping you. Um, and, and it's partly because most of the time you have is spent with your partner. So um, those relationships get weak. Um, so she's kind of concerned about that. And again, that's about sort of being lonely or being disconnected from family. Um, um, the other thing she makes a point of is that um, some people get married for status. So that's one of her things she talks about. Um, because when you're married and, and you have in society, um, you have a certain status, you have a certain standing, um, you gain a certain respect just by getting married. Um, and so some people get married for that. Um, she was mentioning that the gay people, when they first could get married, um, wanted to get married because they wanted that status, they wanted that respect. Um, whereas single people, um, you know, they don't, they don't have a status. So there's, society pushes on them a bit to get married. She was talking about how her family was asking her, well, when are you and your partner going to get married? When are you guys going to get married? And she's like, well, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if we want to get married. Um, so that's another point, that status thing. Um, a big one is the children. So Gallagher has a lot to say about that. But um, to sort of correct what Gallagher is saying, because Gallagher makes it look really rosy, um, Catron points out that, well, you can be married, but if it's not good, if you and your partner yell and scream, if there are money issues, if somebody is an alcoholic or has drug problems, um, or she's very dysfunctional, that's not good for the family because what they lack is stability. So Catron argues that stability is more important than being married that children are happier if their mom or their dad, if, if, as a single parent, is stable, um, always acts the same way, because children need security. Um, and that's, that's a very insightful point. Um, Thank you. Hello, yes. Okay, so that's three points. One is status. One is self, well, actually four points. One is something about status. One is something about being self-sufficient, maybe. Um, let's see, one is about loneliness or social connection. Um, and the other thing that she talks about is independence. She doesn't want to lose her independence. Um, she wants to make decisions when she wants to make decisions. Um, she wants to have the life that she wants. She doesn't want to have to ask her partner um, hey, is this okay if I do this? Or, you know, would you mind if I did this? She wants to make those choices. And for a lot of professional people, yeah, they want to make those choices. If, if there's an opportunity that comes up, they want to take it. So occasionally, um, I've seen people in college, at least in relationships, and somebody gets an opportunity. And if they take it, they're maybe no longer in San Diego, and that relationship just goes away. Um, because the person wasn't married and they wanted to take their opportunities when they had it. Um, so in that way, independence um, for professional people sometimes takes priority or precedent over um, this connection when each person wants something. So if you're in college and your partner wants to get a promotion somewhere or is asked to move somewhere and make a lot of money, 
Um, you guys may split up even though you like each other. If you're married, that's a quite a hardship um, to be separate like that, um, especially if if you're doing something that you feel is important for your life goal and they're doing something you feel is important for that, their life goal. So Catron makes some very good points in there. Um, so I wanted to look at Catron. I think it's much easier to look at um, Gallagher because <clears throat> she has a list of 10 things. Um, we're not really interested in the 10 things. We're interested in things that we can compare. So when Gallagher talks about um, children, well, that's something they want, might want to compare. Gallagher also talks about money quite a bit, um, which um, Kitron doesn't talk about. So you could say that you could compare, say, Gallagher's position on money and her belief that families make more money or they're able to save more money um, and compare that to um, something that Kitron is talking about. Um, even though they're not the same. You would say that Cretron feels this is most important. And on the other hand, Gallagher feels that's most important. And that's why when we think about Gallagher, she's very traditional. She thinks that, well, two people make more money, they save the money. Um, you want to get married, you don't want to be single because then who are you going to depend on? You're going to fall back on your parents, they might be old. Um, so neither one of them is right. Um, both of them have different perspectives. And it just depends on lifestyle. Okay. Um, I think that's probably most of what this one does. Um, these examples that I gave you from the files, I think you might want to look at those. So this one is um, this one, Jacqueline, um, who was a very good writer. And she, she starts with a question, does marriage provide or end happiness? Um, which is kind of what we're thinking about. And so she has a hook right here. That's interesting. She starts it off and she says, well, is marriage the root of loneliness or is it the pillar um, of a happy and stable life? It's a good question because each um, Catron and um, Catron thinks it's the root of loneliness and Gallagher thinks it's the it's happiness. And then she defines marriage. She goes from that in defining marriage. Um, and she talks about that for a while. And then she brings up some of Gallagher's points um, and some of some of uh, Catron's points. And then she wants to identify, well, how can we make a decision on this? Is it, is it the root of loneliness or happiness? So she says, by reading and notice, she names the essay, what you lose when you gain a spouse, see it's in quotations. Um, the author published on this date, in this place, um, <clears throat> and this other one, again, in quotes, because it's a title written by this person, published on this date, in that place, um, again, which is italics, presents opposing points of view. So now she's established where she's going to go. Um, and she does a brief summary of Catron. Catron explains that marriage itself creates all kinds of factors. So she does that. And then she goes, on the other hand, um, Gallagher, and she does a little summary of Gallagher. And then she says, both authors also talk about their point of view talking about kids, and so she's, she's, she's talking about some things here. Um, <clears throat> in her essay, uh, she, she, she talks about some more things that she wants to talk about when she's making the comparison. But what she doesn't have right here at the end of that introduction is a thesis sentence. And your thesis sentence should um, talk about those things that you want to compare. So if it's children and it's status and it's money or it's loneliness, then talk about three things you want to compare. Um, and then that will set up your body paragraphs. So that's, <clears throat> that's all hers is, I think, just the introduction. Um, okay. Do you guys understand where we've been going with that so far? 
Yes. Now you give me ideas to store my first paragraph. <laughs> yeah, because you want these ideas, right? I think. Yes. <laughs> I'm writing. Okay. Yeah, that's what these examples are about. So that, you know, if you're not really sure, um, you can look at the examples and go, okay, I see what that person did in the past. And maybe I'm liking that. And maybe I'm not liking that. And those were not the final copies of either one of those people. I'm going to show you the other one in a minute. Um, and that's why it's good to look at more than one um, and figure out what you're going to do. Okay, let's look at the other one here. Um, this is a guy that did it, and he's got the whole essay here, but if you look at his, um, it's very short. His essay is very short. Um, and <clears throat> I'm just showing it to you because these are two that I have. And he starts out with those many opinions about marriage. Um, he doesn't do much with this paragraph. That's about all he does. And he does not have a thesis sentence. This is a very rough draft. Um, he doesn't introduce the names of the two people. He doesn't introduce the titles of the um, uh, essays <clears throat> or where they're published or the years they were published. He doesn't do any of that. So this is super rough. Um, and we don't know what he's going to be comparing. Um, this seems to be, so I think what he did was he has a super brief introduction and then here he has a little summary. So he broke the summaries out of the introduction. Um, and he has a little paragraph or a summary of what this one is talking about and what this one is talking about. And I think his strategy is to um, just show you what each, which is good because when we looked at the other one, she was um, doing a one sentence summary in her introduction. She didn't separate them. She just said, well, you know, Gallagher talks about these things and Control talks about those things. Um, okay, and that's good because, I mean, you want a little summary. Um, let's see if I can come down on this page. It's not wanting to move. Nope. Wow, it doesn't want to move. Here we go. Okay. Well, I guess we just have the first two paragraphs or the first three paragraphs. So you can see what his strategy was. Um, uh, okay. Um, we're going to look at the directions in a minute. So any questions on what we've done so far? No. no. It's a, Kareem, you got a question? No. <laughs> All right. Okay. So listen, um, hi. So it's a lot, right, to take in. It's a really a lot. Um, that's why I'm, I put these recordings up and I send you the link for it. You got the recording for the first one. Um, and I probably recorded too much of that one because we were just having discussions and we didn't need that recorded. So that's why I'm just going to record this instructional part and then I'll stop the recording. And if people have things they want to ask about their own paper or stuff they want to, you know, about themselves, we'll do that stuff. Okay. So I should probably show you, um, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to go through the directions a little bit. So we'll do that. Um, and then we're finished with that. We'll have done, the comparative paper again and then you guys need to ask me your questions or talk about where you're going with that um and then also um we want to talk a little bit about say papers that you need to finish a couple of people have some papers to finish um i looked at some papers here but i don't think anybody's online nah, nobody's online that's that's done these um so some people did fix some things and then, you know, maybe not so well. So um, I'll have to resend those to those people. Okay. 
But again, get your work done because we're going to be entering in the last five weeks, and that's that's a little tricky. All right, so here we're going over some more stuff. Whoops. Um, so these are the two essays we can look at in a minute. But if you remember this comparison contrast thing, how to do it so that you kind of are thinking through it. Um, we want to look at, whoops, we would like to look at the same points. Um, maybe we will, and maybe we're going to be talking about the Catron feels this is important and Gallagher feels that's important. Um, and then when you write your um, conclusion, the idea is, well, so who probably did the best job with um, making their point about their position in marriage, and, you know, like that. Um, we're doing point by point, and this is good because um, this is when you're saying, well, they're the same. So if they were both talking about children, you would go similarly when you split the paragraph or um, at the same time, something like that. If it's different, though, you use these connectors. On the contrary, on the other hand, however, um, and then you can change. If it helps you, and we're doing the point by point, you might want to make a little um, outline like this, where you put uh, the topic sentence for whichever thing you're doing, and then talk about, um, say, Catron, and then talk about um, Gallagher, and in between here, you would have your transition piece right in there. Um, so, Kind of looks like that. Okay, I think that's all that's really good for. Let me stop this for a minute. And yeah, okay. Okay, um, the instructions, you have that also. And by the way, all of this is in files. Um, so if we went to this piece right here, and this is your home page. This is what it looks like on the 114 page. If you needed to look at some files, you would click on files right there. Um, and you see that it's comparison contrast paper. So you would click on that one and it's gonna open up and boy, there's a lot of stuff right in there. So um, all the things that you might need are right in there. And so you would click on all of those things. Um, see I had up what I wanted. Nope. I have to stop sharing again because I have to the one that I want is under that little thing that you guys may not see. So this was the directions that you guys got. Um, and it's pretty much saying what I just said. Um, and then, it, but it, it, it talks about some other stuff. So um, in the directions, it says, for this essay, given your viewpoint, you will, after summarizing each one, um, first compare the two essays' viewpoints, and secondly, argue what each contributes to a practical assessment of marriage. Um, oops. And its relationship to happy, mar happy relationships for young adults in America who may or may not have children. Um, a lot of people are not having children, so if marriage is really built around children and you're not going to have children, you know, who knows what you're going to do. Um, the process of the paper, given these things, these points that you've, you've been thinking about, you want to decide on the theme. Um, so you want to know the points to be compared. We talked about that. And unified under a theme. Um, so the theme might have to do with um, whether or not someone is married. Um, it could have to do with someone's lifestyle, but something like that. So that would be your thesis. It's at the end of the introduction. Um, so looking at the format, the introduction should set up the background, maybe a hook, provide a one sentence summary for each essay, and then your comparative thesis is the last sentence. Um, and 
what you're doing is the thesis is arguing for who did the better job in terms of marriage or relationships, who, who explained it better. Um, your thesis should mention those things that you're talking about, those three points, um, and then your body paragraphs should be organizing by these, organized by these three points. So you're going to have an introduction, um, you're going to have uh, a hook, you're going to have some background, you're going to have your two one sentence summaries, you're going to name the essays, you're going to name the author, the year it's published, where it was published, um, and give a one sentence summary for each one. Then you have your thesis with the things you're going to be comparing. And then in your in your body paragraphs, you're going to each one should be the point that you're comparing. Um, whoops. And you should start with the topic sentence that names the point. Um, and then you have your two sides. So if we were looking at this again, um, it's a split paragraph kind of like that. And so your topic sentence would be here. The first half would be Catrone or Gallagher and explaining uh, your evidence on that. And then you have contrast and contrast. And your second half of your paragraph would be say Gallagher explaining her viewpoint on that. And then um, the last one would be your sort of conclusion on it or your thinking on it. I mean, and by the way, don't say I think or I believe, just say it seems or um, perhaps Gallagher had the stronger viewpoint uh, as regards whatever or Catrone's insight sort of changes the way one might, one might traditionally look at Gallagher's viewpoint, something like that. Um, so your body paragraphs are organized like that, a topic, a topic sentence, um, your evidence for the one side, Catron, a transition, and then evidence for that side, say Gallagher. Um, when you finish with that, you're ready for your conclusion, um, which should go back to the introduction and whatever you were talking about there in terms of your, say, background in it and, and perspective. Um, and use those two to provide insight or reflection about the topic. So some people in the last um, class said, well, because um, families are not having children as much, the idea of marriage is perhaps different than what Gallagher said. It doesn't mean that um, some of her ideas aren't still correct today, because it is probably true if two people are married, if two people are together and married, they're probably saving money um, together. But if you remember, Catron was talking about um, herself and her partner, they'd actually bought a house together. So they were still saving money together. Um, they just weren't getting married, I guess, because she didn't feel it was necessary. There weren't going to be, in her mind, any children. Um, so, so why do it? Um, so come to your conclusion and this idea that um, which do you think is the more practical today? Um, or are you do want to argue that both of them have good points? That's always a, a safe bet. You can argue. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I think both have their own opinions. And I right. think if we take like a balance and like fuse them, it could be like a good right. match. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think so too. That's a, that's a clever one. Um, some people are going to feel very strongly about Gallagher and some people are going to be very strongly about Catron, but they both do make pretty good points. So um, that's a safe way to do it. And it is practical if, you know, some, this person had a good idea, that person had a good idea, but maybe they're not all good ideas. Um, okay. So we've kind of talked about this one. Um, you guys just have to get working on it. So I would like you guys to post something on Thursday. Okay. Um, for sure you know, as much as you can get done, because really we only have five weeks left. We don't have a lot of time. Um, so we need to get everything done. Um, and if we were looking at this, oops, sorry, get back to this. If we were looking at the site itself, um, we're sharing now, let's share, oh, okay. And so we're looking at the site itself. Then when we go to the assignments, um, which will come up in a minute. We see we have a couple of them. Um, so this one was 
your points that you were comparing. This one you were supposed to do your points. Let me go back to this. I want to put up student view because I want to I'm going to do the view you guys actually see. My poor little computer's having trouble with all this stuff. Oops. There. Um, so again, if you're looking at the assignments here, and if you had clicked on this one, okay, we would have that. Um, and so there would be a text box. You would, so you would just type in what, what, what it was, um, the, uh, the points that you wanted to compare. This next one that was different, um, this next one, this is where you actually put your um, essay. So this was the old, um, the first conference we had together last week. And that's, the, the link is there. Um, so I'll be sending you a new link for this once this gets done. Um, so what you know, you see the submit assignment up there. So when you have your file, when you have typed up whatever, you're gonna click on submit assignment and it's gonna say choose a file. So if you're on your computer, you're gonna choose the marriage one, click on it um, and it'll, it'll add it and then submit it like that. Click the submit. You can also use Google Drive and do it that way. Um, this does remind you in this one um, of the parts of this essay. So oops, see if it'll let me go up. There it is. So it says there's an introduction and it goes through that. Three body paragraphs and a conclusion. Um, so it's reminding you of what you've got to do. All right. So Okay, any more questions on that? Does everybody understand the Canvas site? Okay, how to work that. Okay, um, so we've kind of covered this. Um, I'm, is there any other uh, paper that you're working on that you're not remembering how to do? Anybody working on one you don't remember how to do it? So, um, what I'll do is go ahead and stop the recording now. Um, this is what we'll post on, on there. And then, um, so I'm going to stop it.